Hi, it's Matt here from Goglin Auto. So this video is about changing your headlight bulbs. I do find on this car the light output is really bad um, and I do struggle to see at night uh, and the difference between main beam and dipped is really small. So I'm going to upgrade the bulbs. I bought this car second hand and the previous owner was running LED bulbs in the headlights uh, which he's given me, which is these ones, Nov uh, Novsite bulbs, which have got a very good reputation. However, he had taken them back out and put the original halogens back in uh, before I picked the car up. Um, I haven't tried these myself. I did try to put one in and I was struggling to uh, make it fit. I think the lugs are a little bit thicker than the standard sort of metal lugs on the halogen bulbs so I gave up um, and to be honest I'm not a fan of using LEDs while the light output might be better you have to be a bit careful with LEDs because they run very hot uh, you also have to make sure that the um, LEDs are in exactly the same place as the original um, filament locations on an original bulb uh, but also now LEDs will fail in MOT if you've got um, HIDs or LEDs in a headlight that was designed for halogen it will now be an MOT failure in the UK so I wasn't going to bother with these and I've looked at what else is around. I bought these Osram Nightbreaker 150% well up to 150% um, and I've used these bulbs before I've used 130 ones before in Zoe's when we had two Zoe's and they make a huge difference and uh, if you look at all the Auto Express um, product reviews, they do better um, testing of light bulbs than I could do. Um, then uh, these do come out usually first or second. So um, I thought I will try the these. The downside of using these sort of high performance um, halogen bulbs is they don't last as long as the sort of standard halogen, OEM halogen bulbs. Um, and obviously they're a bit more expensive but uh, I've used them many times in other cars and they do make a difference and it's a, a very easy way and obviously legal way of upgrading your headlights. Uh, but what I found in the past you might get a year or 18 months out of a bulb um, and if that does me for the winter uh, and I don't know what these were, 30 quid or something. Um, if it's going to cost me £15 a year to have better headlights, then yeah, I'll pay that. So the uh, ZS uses HP3 bulbs. If you haven't seen one, there's the uh, original um, standard halogen that I took out. And here's the Osram. So the only difference really um, is it's got the blue on the glass. Um, Obviously, there's something different with the element, I guess. But uh, laser on here is just marketing hype. Uh, laser just means there's a, the, um, I think it's the blue is laser etched or something. But anyway, it's got nothing to do with the bulb, of course. Um, but, you know, I've used these before and uh, they do make a noticeable difference. You might find when taking these caps off the back of the headlight housing is that they are incredibly tight. But the tip is that it is only a cap in a recess. So um, you might make the mistake as I did the first time was actually trying to twist the, um, the outer ring as it were. So you just twist this cap and look for that lug and then pull it from that lug. But you twist them anti-clockwise quarter of a turn. Um, but then you just have to lever them out with that little lug. Probably worth uh, lubricating the uh, O-ring. Is there a seal on that? Yes, there's an O-ring around the outside. So it'll be worth sort of putting some Vaseline uh, around that when you put it back together. It'll help with the sealing and it'll just make that um, spin that little bit easier. So I've got the new Osram bulb fitted in that side now and that side is the original uh, halogen bulb. Uh, you're not going to see it through the camera here but yeah the new bulb is definitely whiter that side looks quite yellow in comparison so anyway I'll fit the other side and uh, I'll let you know tomorrow what I think so I tried these uh, new bulbs last night and wow what a difference I was absolutely gobsmacked I've used um, bulbs like the well these bulbs and bulbs like this before but never seen a difference uh, as huge as this um, 
I actually thought on this car that the driver's side bulb was, um, well, the headlight was misaligned and it was pointing up to the sky um, because there was no light in front of me. It's like I was driving one light bulb. Um, there was a little bit, but, you know, I couldn't see where the light was hitting the tarmac. Um, the bulb on that side was fine. It was lighting up the side of the road, as you'd expect. But this side, it sort of seemed to be lighting up the hedgerow and nothing on the road. And I thought it was very badly misaligned, um, which wasn't the case. Clearly, it was just because the bulbs were absolutely useless. I've got the new bulbs in and instantly I had a proper light pattern in front of me. I could see the lines. And um, the main thing was uh, the road ahead was lit up about twice the distance than uh, I was getting with the previous bulbs. It was quite outstanding. And now suddenly this car feels fine for driving at night. Um, so yeah, never seen such a difference before. I did find with the original bulbs there was very little difference between high beam and low beam. If I was out on the open road and put it on a high beam, I hardly saw a difference in front of me. I couldn't really see any further. If I was on a country road that had hedgerows either side, then I did see a difference where the low beam light uh, would raise up and I could see extra light up the sides. But actually, where you wanted it on the road in front of you, hardly any difference. But with the new bulbs, wow, there is a vast difference between high beam and low beam, which is what you'd expect. You know, they, they to me now, these headlights are working... Uh, as you would expect, as they should do. So it made me think that these original bulbs, which were fitted in the MG from the factory, must be substandard. Um, and I was thinking, well, surely if you put normal branded halogen bulbs in, you're going to get an improvement because these were so bad. But then I had a look at these and these are actually Philips, um, which surprised me even more. So certainly if you've got an MG ZS EV and you haven't done anything with the headlight bulbs, definitely rip out these original factory Philips bulbs and put something better in, either the Philips or the Osram. They all make brands uh, or models of um, high-performance halogen lights. Um, so, yeah, the difference was absolutely huge. Um, these, I think, cost uh, £27 for the pair from Amazon. I've put the link in the uh, description below if you want to go on Amazon and buy these. And... Um, yeah, I would highly recommend it. I've never had a car where it makes such a difference. And um, yeah, I know some people put LED and things in, but uh, these would be road legal and wouldn't fail your MOT. So yeah, if you want to upgrade your lights, I could highly recommend getting a set of um, better bulbs. It makes such a difference and I'm so much happier now. Um, and my previous car, the Ionic, um, had LED headlights, so I was used to good headlights and it was quite a shock going back to uh, this with standard halogens. Um, but I've never had a car with headlights so bad. Um, so I don't know whether those Philips bulbs uh, were faulty or on their way out, but this car's only 10 months old, so unlikely. But um, yeah, I was staggered at the difference. So that's one upgrade I'm very, very happy with. Um, and, you know, these high performance bulbs do uh, wear out quicker and they do tend to fail. But, you know, if I can get a winter out of those, I'm happy. So, yeah, that's one upgrade that I would suggest if you haven't done, have a go. Okie okay, doke. Um, and uh, if you've liked this video, please do click the thumbs up because that really does help other people find the channel and more EV videos coming soon.